are we going, folks? I'm out here in the veggie garden today, and I've been doing a few things around the place, which I'll show you in another episode. But as I was working around, I come up to our beans here, our broad beans, and here's the puppy. Hello, Vader. Where have you been, buddy? Hey, where have you been? Huh? Chasing more rabbits? He's been hunting rabbits today. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to the broad beans. <laughs> Go back there. These are getting really tall now and they've got so much flour on them, they're going to start setting fruit and what's going to happen is they're going to start to get heavy. And normally you can tie them up out in a, in a garden if you haven't got a framework like I have here, is some bamboo stakes or timber stakes and just put string all the way around the outside, stops them from falling over. But I'm using this framework here to grow them under and against. Now, if you don't tie them up, this is what's going to happen. See how they're falling over? This is already happening even without the fruit on it, without any pods developing on it. So you can tie them up in different ways, as I said earlier, with the, the stakes, string around the outside, or you can use soft tie, which is this stuff here. And I use this sometimes just to tie tomatoes or beans or something else that's falling over, but this can be tedious because you've got to sit there and cut each piece and then sit there and tie a knot around each stem of the plant. Whereas I've been using this of lately. This is a tape and a gun or tape tool, which is a great little unit. A lot of you have got this already. For those who haven't seen it before, it basically has a plastic tape roll inside here. It's in the color green. It also comes in the color of blue or blue color, which is more obvious so you can see where it is, but that's quite, you know, quite easy to disguise if you don't like the, the vibrant colors in the garden. And it has staples. Now this is basically, in my books, an elaborated stapler. All it has is this extra function on it, or this arm here, which is normally the base plate, but what it does also is grab a hold of the actual tape, and you put your little bamboo or plant in between there and a stake, and then you close it tight, and it cuts it off and puts a staple on it at the same time. So that's as simple as that is, and this is what I've been using with all plants. Anything that I need to tie up, I've been sort of getting away from using the soft tie and working on this. For those who are worried about biodegradable products, well, this is one little roll here. I don't know how many meters, I think it was 25 or 50. Nevertheless, this will do a hell of a lot of tying up for the one season. So you're not using a lot of plastic there. Um, whereas the uh, soft tie, it's really, this is one year old now. You can see how it's discolored, so it's not stable. It, it, it's still got a bit of strength in it, but after a year or two, depending on how bad the weather is, this becomes quite brittle and it can snap off. So to use this, let me show you how it works. I'm going to work my way back from the inside out because I don't want to take the outside and squash the in ones. This is almost like a spalliering your uh, broad beans. So find a spot where you can comfortably wrap it around. You're going to sacrifice a couple of leaves here and there, folks. That's the truth. Go around like that, and that's it there. Done. You can smash out a garden bed like this, literally within minutes. And I'm talking, you know, five minutes, not 50 minutes or an hour. You're watching me do this in real time. So you can actually time it yourself and see how long it takes me to do. And this one here, just carefully, because they can snap off if they've been sitting down for a while. There we are. Oh, there's another one. What I like about this is you don't have to just tie it to the actual framework, you can tie it onto the same bean or another stalk itself. There we are. Done. And it gives a bit more light underneath. Look, I've got some, uh, what are they? Are they leeks? I've got leeks growing here, a couple of spring onions as well. And because these are starting to hang out and cast a shadow over the top, the plants below are going to struggle to grow efficiently and produce a decent crop for me. Like that. Now, you can probably think, oh, look, you're going to cramp them all up in there. Yes and no. At the same time, I can put a garden stake here, for example. You can have a couple of options. You can put a, a stake in like this bamboo here and tie to that like that, if you like. Quite simple. Right? See that? Now, I'm not going to do it like that. Or you can put one at either end, carefully, not to squash any other seedling. One there and one down here. Let's put one in the middle as well because the distance is more than a metre and that's just a bit over a metre between each stake. Only because I'm using Jolly Tie here folks and I don't like using this in short pieces. I'd rather use it in the long strands. Now the first ones here 
I was going to actually tie it to this, but what I'm going to do is use this as part of the framework. Tie it to the back here, carefully. You don't have to do a major knot. Do a loop around the first stake, like that. Now we can pick them up as we go along and do a loop around the second one as well, carefully not to damage the plants. Now let's just pull this carefully and see how much tension we can get onto it. See this one's going to fall out underneath there. We may need to tie this up on its own. Just like that there. Go around the next batch. And these little fellas down here, well, they're going to have to get stapled up, I think. And we tie it back here. Then a single knot, because it holds pretty well. See, it's still got a bit of sag in it. I might just pull it a bit tighter than that. That's good. Still got, we've still got some breathing space in between there on the plants. And it's giving the leeks a little bit more sunlight. So otherwise, they're going to start leaning over to the side there. So, a bit more, oh, did I just break one? Yeah, bamboo, look at that. The big one broke, and the little ones are still stable. <laughs> okay, let's get it back in. The bottom half had rotted out. It's been used two or three times. We recycle everything here. I'm sure many of you experienced that before. So pull it tight again, and let's work our way around again. It's a bit better. Sort of. <laughs> well, at least if they get any heavier, you can put another string a bit further up here like that as well. In actual fact, we might just do that. Let's just complete this properly, huh? And we should be done. That's a bit better. At least they won't sag any more than what they have. So that's just some tips on tying up your broad beans, folks. Everybody's got their own way couple of stakes here and there just to stabilize it a little bit otherwise the string will sag itself and if you've got any framework get yourself a tape tool that's all you need like these ones down here let's get them off the ground because look we've got some chicory growing down there and give that some sunlight uh, let's get in here somewhere one side done folks one more side to do Look after your broad beans, they should start fruiting if not already. Tape tools are available, all good garden centers, and our website, vasilisgarden.com. Everything you need, available for you, for your garden, to grow bigger, better, beautiful flowers, fruit and vegetables. Our spring sale is going to finish in a couple of days, so take advantage of the great discounts. From Eva Silly, Maresi.